Holy is the ultimate gamer. He's earned that name. Hollywood! A great guy, and his videos are fantastic. What's to do, YouTube? It's Holy One, and I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung S95 B Q L OLED 55 inch that I bought to replace my 4K monitor. And I haven't used an OLED TV ever, and this is my first OLED TV that a lot of people in the TV community have been recommending to me to get because it has like 1500 nits, 4K. Really high picture quality, very, gr really, really good brightness. So I'm going to show you guys what I have hooked up to this. So I have my RTX 3090 Ti PC that takes full advantage of these this TV's picture quality using HDMI 2.1. Uh, and I have my Crimson Red PlayStation 5 right behind it for the other USBs. Now the features on this TV I'll go over, but first we'll go over the ports. They're right, the first port's right on the back. There's four four HDMI 2.1s right here so you can hook up your Xbox Series X, PS5, and a gaming PC to it if you wanted to. It has a couple USBs back here and then the power cable is on the other side where my headphones set is and it is a very thin bezel. It's OLED. Um, it outputs at like 486p so it's like a little higher resolution over 4k because of um like there's like if you're playing a game with black bars then that can also occur the remote is solar powered and it has smart tv features now if you hold this button down it goes into the game menu i updated the software so it'll show the whole advantage so this pulls up the menu it shows the picture mode it shows that i'm at 120 hertz uh, and you can turn HDR on or off. VRR is automatically turned on for PC. If you go into the NVIDIA control panel, it uses AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, as does my old 4K Monita. So to turn that on, you just go into AMD or NVIDIA settings, and it'll turn on automatically, and that'll give you the crispy FreeSync settings. So in the settings, you have the game mode. You can change the HDR mode, which is... Depending on what you want to do with it, they have like gaming advanced, so it brings out an even crispier game picture. Uh, the speakers do support Dolby Atmos, and they actually sound surprisingly well when I'm playing on my PS5. I use my soundbar for my 3090 Ti PC. And then you have your brightness, your sharpness, your tint, some other things I've tweaked around. And in game mode, it does limit you to like some features so you could go to the standard but that's pretty much the os and uh it works pretty well i haven't seen any input now let's get into some gears gameplay now you're probably wondering people who are watching this on a monitor who pretty much don't game on a tv what is it like upgrading to a tv from a monitor like that i had 4k so my mild monitor was about a 32 inch 4k 144 hertz AMD free premiums free sync um, and TVs have definitely come and surpassed monitors at this point because the picture quality you guys can't see it from what I'm recording but it is significantly better than my monitor it's a bigger picture for the same price and you get all the same features and more like the picture quality can just not cannot be beaten compared to a monitor Plus, you get more HDMI support and all sorts of good stuff with that. So, I am very happy upgrading from my monitor to this. And the picture size alone, if you just sit five feet back, like even I put this on my gaming desk, as you guys saw, and it works out just fine. Like you could put, and for multitasking, I used to have two monitors, but this TV is big enough that I could put like six tabs open Discord, YouTube my business, all that sort of thing. I could put all those all on one TV and it just works. So I don't have to like split it up on a vertical stand or anything like that. And my 3090 Ti could take full advantage of it since it has HDMI 2.1. Now, the US, I did have the, the, the new 4K AK display port, which people were saying was better than HDMI 2.1, but 
the difference is minuscule because monitors cannot keep up with the quality of the Samsung S95 B QLED OLED. It just looks so great. The brightness is popping. Playing Miles Morales on it with the with the electricity going off from certain characters just looks absolutely stunning. And playing Gears on it just makes it look really good. So if you guys are looking for a TV, definitely get this. It's really good. It comes out at 65 inches and 55 inches. I know some people want to play it at 77 inches. Um, now when it comes to eight input latency, I know some a lot of people, including myself, have been biased towards TVs because you know we've grown up with some shitty TVs and I always would say, well, have TVs finally caught up with the input latency that we gamers prefer, one millisecond response times. I can safely say this TV has like five input latency modes in the game bar. And I just set it to fastest, and the ga and the TV claims like it's under one millisecond, which is fan f freaking tastic. So it's very responsive, and the bigger screen lets you see so much. Just turn up your FOV in your game to like the maximum, and you're gonna be able to see a lot more than just playing on a little small monitor screen. So playing competitive FPS shooters on this is very doable, especially if you guys like playing PUBG, Fortnite maybe Gears or Halo multiplayer, you could definitely take advantage of it and the HDR that this TV offers, which is pretty damn crispy. So, that's going to wrap up this review, guys. Uh, I'm not really a TV guy. I'm mostly a PC and console gamer, and upgrading to from this to the monitor has been a exceptional experience playing on this TV for the last few days and benchmarking games on it. Like, yeah, the CV is great. Definitely check it out. I know some people are hesitant about OLEDs, but I I played on the OLED Switch and I said I should get an OLED TV for my PC. So that's a wrap up this review, guys, or impressions, whatever you want to say. This is your boy Holy One. Out!